I am super, super happy and excited to be able to let you guys know this big news. I have a big launch. It's totally free for you guys to use. I have, hopefully, I have created the biggest watercolor database you have ever seen online and I'm so proud of it. So I'm going to talk to you guys about what it is, why I made it and how you can use it and what you can find on there. So my watercolor database, it, which does need a better name, <laughs> is a collection of 3200 plus watercolor paints and we have all the details, we have the name, we have the brand, we have the color swatch image from the brand, where you can buy them, and all the characteristics like is it staining, granulating, light fastness, transparency, all the stuff that you need, as well as links to videos if I've covered that color in a video, as well as swatches if I've already swatched them on my postcard side swatches. They look like this and you get high red scans of these swatches if I've done them already. And it's two sets of 3200 paints in that we have one section where the paints are organized by pigment. So if you are looking, say, I want to know all the colors that are manufactured that has PB20 in then you can totally do that it's a very long list because I've tried to be thorough I have every color from 36 brands they are the main manufacturers of watercolor the professional ones I haven't put any handmade color brands in there purely because they tend to come and go and I want to see which brand stays and is becomes established. I'm considering putting a gallo in there because they now sell with Jackson's and that to me signifies that they're a little bit more established. So all the major brands that you can think of should be in there. If you notice a brand that's missing that you feel should be in there that is commercial brand then do let me know either in the comments down below or message me on Patreon or email me or Instagram me or whatever you want to do to contact me. So we have buy pigments, but we also have buy brands. And so if you know what brand you're looking for and you're looking for a particular color in that brand, then all you have to do is go to the buy brand section. It's ordered in alphabetical order by brand name. So it's really easy to find your brand. And not only does it have the paints in that brand, but buy brand pages have lots of information about that brand, things like what country is it from, does it contain honey, is it vegan, links to their color swatches, links to their website, verdict if I've swatched their entire range, and I like to only give verdict for a brand once I've kind of swatched all of the colors and then you have all the data of all the paint but then right at the bottom if you scroll down then you also get the swatch cards if i've swatched them so for example if, if you go to a core or a m graham page where i have swatched all the colors already you will see the swatch cards or showing up so you don't have to click through to find each of them. So why did I create this database? Well, I wanted a online resource, a watercolor database that is as thorough as I can make it and as updated as possible, as well as had other resources such as links to videos so you can find the video really easily to that particular color, real life swatches, that kind of thing, so that it's the most comprehensive as I can get it. The only thing I haven't covered in my database is light fastness tests and that is because there already exists a great watercolor light fastness database which I will also link down below by Lana who is amazing at what she does and I am not going to overlap because I think what she has created is super amazing but other than that I want to put as much resource as I can into each color so that it can be your one-stop shop if you need to look something up about a paint or a brand then it's all going to be there so if you feel that there's something missing that you want me to cover then do let me know again comment email whatever and I will try my best to get it done for you. It's basically designed around what would I want from a watercolor database and I've had it live now for a month just for beta testing with my patrons and 
I've been using that website so much because it has every information that I use in what I do on this YouTube channel. Now, I've had a few questions about what do the little symbols mean. If you scroll to the top of the page, there is a key for it. I couldn't figure out a better place to put that key. So if you're wondering what the little symbols are for each paint, then that's where you can find out what each symbol means. I do have to be very clear with you guys that the buy links to Jackson's and Amazon USA are affiliate links. They help with the running cost of the website. What basically happens is if you use that link, it tells Jackson's and Amazon, hey, I came from Otto's website and have recommendation. And then whatever you buy, which is the exact same price, whether you use an affiliate link or not, the company will give me a small percentage in commissions. And that really helps towards running on this channel and the database. We also have another section of watercolor resources. It's quite small at the moment and I'm hoping to build them all, but it's a section called watercolor encyclopedia. And if you remember the videos about which brand should you buy? I was talking about brands that are vegan, brands that contain honey. It's where I'm going to put useful information about more general stuff rather than specific paints that I couldn't find a home for in the database. It's all going to go in there and that section also needs a better name. So if you think of any, then please let me know. This launch is obviously the first part, phase one. It took me two years, but it has been totally worth it. I'm so proud of myself, but it is the phase one of this massive project. The next bit I'm going to be working on is creating more swatches so that you have swatch card for as many colors I can get and also make videos about them. So you have video links because I feel like it's one thing to see a swatch digital scan and then it's another thing to see it in real life as in in videos you get the feel of that color a lot better so i really want to be populating those links as much as i can in the next few years i think it's going to take and then as i test full range of each brand i'll be able to put my verdict on it there are other usability things that i really want to add into if you don't know i actually have two degrees in human computer interaction that's basically usability so making that website more usable is a high priority for me and a passion for me. If there's any other features you want to see on the database, let me know. If you see any errors or missing data that I haven't been able to track and you have primary resource, that basically means it comes from the brand, whether from their promotional stuff or their website, then please do let me know. Send me an email at auto at autocano.com and please let me know because I want to make this as accurate and as up to date as possible. I've had a few people apologize for correcting me and please don't, I love it. They, I want to make this as accurately and detailed as possible and I can't possibly do that by myself. It's a community effort. It's going to require a community effort to error check things because I'm a human being and make errors and I really, really appreciate you error checking for me. It's just like, I'm so grateful that you guys are doing that. Thank you so much. So that is it. Head on over to autocano.com so that you can go and have a look at the database and let me know what you think. Let me know if you love it. I would love to hear what you think of the database. I'm super proud of it. Thank you so much for watching this video and checking out the database and I will see you in the next video. Bye.